Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your MC for the Magic of Scotland Week, Mr. Paul Nardini. Well, good evening. Welcome to the Palace of Mystery here in the Magic Castle. And I uh, should point out that you, that strange noise that you're hearing through the speakers, that's me. I have an accent, apparently. Apparently I have an accent that might be difficult for you to understand. And when I get that way, I get nervous when I think I can't communicate. And uh, I have to fall back on the theatrical techniques that I've learned through the years. And uh, tonight I'm going to use um, bribery. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a trick. Would you like to see a trick? Yeah. Now, the thing is, this doesn't work if you're colorblind. So I don't take chances. I don't take chances. Uh, sir, what color is my little red handkerchief? <laughs> red, thank you very much, sir. Yes, there's nothing up his sleeve, nothing between the ears. What's between the ears, sir? Nothing, yes. It's true, but it cuts still. What you do, you see, is you form a fist with one hand, you take the handkerchief, slowly place it into the fist. Not all the way in because you're going to say a magic word. Scottish magic word, being Scottish. If you're not being Scottish, you might need help with the pronunciation, so I'll spell it for you. It's spelled G S O and it's pronounced Jiso. Jiso. Oh. Let's have a dry run. One, two, three. Jiso. Fantastic. I think this is going to work. You see, one, two, three, geez, oh, you snap your fingers, and then comes out the other end a different colour. Now, thank you. But now, the thing is, if you were colourblind, this would be the going in grey, coming out grey trick, and <laughs> that doesn't get a round of applause either. The most important thing with this trick is that that red handkerchief must be fully into the fist before you remove the green one. Otherwise, the secret becomes clear. But the secret is quite a simple secret, and I'm going to share it with you just now. It uses Two handkerchiefs. Yeah. <laughs> Hands up who knew that. Most of you, I think, you use two handkerchiefs. Yes, of course, yes. There's one, there's one in the left hand, one ends up in the pocket. Do you remember the colour, sir? Yes, red. You can answer for him if you wish, madam. That's very good. Red, red. So, here comes the secret. Two handkerchiefs and a little bit of pre-show work. Do you know what pre-show work is, sir? No, nope. it's work that you do pre-show. That's the clue in the title, yes. So what we do is we do a little thing backstage in the green room. Uh, for me, it's a lovely green room in there. Some of the venues I've been doing, it's the men's room, but we still do it. We take what we can. And then we use one of the colours. Could you choose a colour for me, red or green? Green. Green. We'll do the pre-show work with the green now. Now, as I said, backstage over there, I did a little bit of sneaky work. When you didn't see me, I placed the green handkerchief into my fist. You went where it was there, you didn't know what to look for, so I was one ahead, a step ahead. Now, you've got to make sure it's completely invisible, otherwise, obviously, they're going to know it's in there. So you're going to feel a bit guilty, so what you do is you give misdirection. You wave this one a bit, not too much, because they talk. But you wave it a bit, a little bit, and you walk out in front of your audience. You say, hi, my name's... No, don't do that, because you'll give away the pre-show work. I think I got away with it, I think I got away with it. There's nothing up the sleeve, nothing between the ears. Do you remember that bit? And unfortunately, you do, yes. And then, no. Then we start the trick. We form the fist, we take the handkerchief, and we place it into the fist. As I've said, not all the way in, just so, because we're going to say the magic word. One, two, three. Three, so. Oh, you remember. <laughs> and then, of course, you saw it when we pull out the one we put in there before. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of performance advice. So when you do this for the first time, you're going to be nervous. And you may fumble a little bit. Uh, do you remember your first time, sir? <laughs> Were you nervous? Did you fumble about a little bit? It can happen. It can pop out prematurely. You're left with it in your hands. It can be very embarrassing. If you're quick, tuck it back in. You may never notice. Because the most important thing is that that red one must not be visible before you pull out the green one. Otherwise, you get to know the secret. You understand? Secret being obviously the two handkerchiefs. Now, sir, you're left with one last little piece of the puzzle. How do you get rid of the one in the hand? Well, that's the thing about magic and being a magician. You've got to put a little bit of yourself into the trick. I've got my way of doing it. You have yours. Then you will be the magician. Thank you very much. Are you ready for the first act? Yes. Well, what can I say with this next act? They're uh, all the way from the northeast of Scotland. Northeast of Scotland, which says, if you thought my accent was bad, good luck. So please, a big warm welcome for the fifth dimension.